Well, let's look at an example where you do have to go through the equations. Okay, for the the rod shown here, you want to find the reactions. The question here is to find reactions at point O. Given that you have the mass, which is 0.5 kilograms per me per meter, and then the shape of the rod is defined by this equation, y square goes to x cube. Okay, so <coughs> let's see what we need in here. Um, if, first of all, this rod is going to act more like a line element. I mean, it's, it's closer to a pipe where you have a constant cross section and the dominant uh, uh, characteristic here is the length. So, <coughs> First of all, O is fixed, so you'll have reactions O X, you're gonna have reaction O Y, and you will have the fixed moment we call this as O. Then it's the center of gravity, let's say if it's at point C. Then that coordinate is gonna be X bar and Y bar, this is X and Y. It means the distance or the way it's gonna act at that point. The distance here is going to be x bar. So <coughs> your free body is really these three reactions O, X, O, Y, and then O, and the point C, which is the center of gravity, where you have the weight of the object coming down. So if you sum your force in X, I should go to zero. That gives you a force reaction as O X is zero. If you sum your force in Y, that should be zero. You get O Y minus W as zero. We get O Y as W. And <coughs> then if I sum the moments by point O, that should be zero. And that should give you the moment at point O as the weight and X bar. So those are the I mean the reactions which you're looking for. Now what do we have here in these equations? We need the weight and we need X bar. But if you know the weight and you know the location of the coordinate X bar then you should be able to find these two reactions. And the weight, uh, I could define the weight as, let's say, um, acceleration due to gravity, then mass per unit length, and third term will be the total length. So we need, I mean, we know this, we know this, we will need the length. Then x bar, since this is a line element, and it's a continuous element where you know the equation. Uh, I mean, so we're going to use the integration formula. You go dl, and you go integration formula x bar dl. This integration should give you the length. And then you're going to do this integration with x solely being the centroid of the length TL, you'll get x bar, and you can come back and find the weight and 
at the moment. So, next basic process for doing it. Now, what we do is we take a length here, or, I mean, this is from calculus, basically. I mean, if you're given a curve like this, and you want to find its length. You have axis x and y. You take a small segment as some distance x. You go dx. This height is dy. Then the length of dl squared is going to be dx squared dy squared. Or the lead l will be square root 1 plus d <coughs> y over dx square and dx. So, <coughs> Your length L is an integration over dL, that's an integration over square root 1 plus dy over dx square dx. And I mean, I'm sure you've seen this equation before, some in calculus, to find lengths of a given <coughs> curves. So you're going to use the exact same equation, and you're going to find the length, you're going to find all this, and you should be able to find the reaction.